I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas Light Guy. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install the latest version of ES Pixel Stick firmware on Quinn LED hardware. I'll be using a new product from Quinn LED, the Quinn LED ESP32 AE+. This is a special version of the Quinn LED ES32 module, which adds a lot of extra functionality. Here is what the Quinn LED ESP32 AE Plus looks like. It is a Quinn LED ESP with a top board added on. It has the following features, a touch sensor, infrared receiver, digital microphone, external antenna, plus three more LED channels. The feature that I'm most excited about is the micro SD card slot. What does this mean? It means the ability to upload and store x -Lite sequences to be run locally or with FPP remote multisync. Let's get started. First, we need to download and install the latest ES Pixel Stick firmware. I've opened up a browser and pulled up the ES Pixel Stick GitHub website. From here, you want to go to Releases. This is where release versions are available. ES Pixel Stick version 4, beta 4, is the latest beta release. However, I want to download a bleeding edge version from the latest build. To do that, click on Actions, go over to Workflows, and click on ES Pixel Stick CI. Then from there, go to Workflow Runs and click on the latest link. This will bring up the Build Job Results page. Click on Artifacts or scroll down to see the artifacts. One note, you must be logged into GitHub to download the artifacts. You'll want to click on Release Archive. This will download the firmware from the build in a zip file called releasearchive.zip. Once it's downloaded, unzip it, and it will create a directory with everything needed to flash the firmware. Next, connect the Quinn LED ESP32 AE Plus using a USB-C to USB cable to your computer. I've connected the Quinn LED ESP32 AE Plus to my computer using a USB-C to USB cable. I'm on a Mac, so I will run the ESP Flash tool from the command line. First, let me change directories. Now I will run the Flash tool. Find the command. OK. Note the ESP Flash tool must detect your USB to serial port driver. If it doesn't, you may need to install the drivers for your operating system. Please check other available references since this is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Once the ESP Flash tool loads, then you're going to enter in the, your SSID for your Wi-Fi. I will enter in mine. And then the then the password for your Wi-Fi. Host name, I'm going to call this dig quad. We will be running this on a dig quad. AE1. Oops, quad. Uh, device ID, I will just use the same name. Hardware, it's going to be on a dig quad. And then I'm going to change my serial port to the USB serial port. At this point, you should be able to upload. Okay, I have a... Um, this is a security thing. Let me deal with that quickly. So let's say cancel security. Allow anyway, get rid of that. Let's try it again. Open. 
Okay. Um, once it starts, be patient. And there it goes. It will clear out the old flash and update the new flash. You should see activity like I'm seeing here. And finally, if you've entered your Wi Fi SSID and password, it should connect, and it has. Next, I've already plugged in the Quinn LED ESP32 AE Plus into the DIG Quad. Now, from a computer on the same wireless network as your DIG Quad is on, open a browser and use the host name or the IP address provided when it connected to pull up the ES Pixel Stick web setup page. Remember the host name is digquad AE1, so that would be http colon slash slash digquad, or the IP address. I have showed both here. I'm gonna go ahead and close one of these. Here is the home page. From here, you wanna to go to the device setup. Okay, you want to enable the secondary input to effects, and then you want to enable the four outputs. I'm using a dig quad connected with 100 pixels each on the four outputs. They're WS2811s, so I'll enable outputs one through four. Okay, um, I'll set the brightness down a little bit for the video to 50%. Um, everything else looks correct. I'll go ahead and save this. Okay, let me enable my video. Okay, video is enabled. Now I'm going to uh, change the effects. From to a different color. Let's select blue. Save that. And let's see if things are working. We have blue. All right, let's change it to a different effect. Let's go to rainbow. Uh, speed is 10, that's fine. Let's go ahead and save the changes. And we have the rainbow effect. So this is a quick demo of how to install and verify that ES Pixel Stick firmware is running and configured properly. Installing the latest version of ES Pixel Stick firmware on the Quinn LED ESP32 AE hardware wasn't difficult at all, as long as you follow the steps in this video. As I said earlier, the feature I'm most interested in is the micro SD card slot and the ability to upload and store X Lite sequences to be run locally or with FPP remote multisync. I'll be using the Quinn LED ESP32 AE Plus on a dig quad in several of my upcoming tutorials, including how to run X Lite sequences on, locally on a Quinn LED hardware and how to set up FPP remote multi-sync on Quinn LED hardware. Keep your eyes out for those tutorials. They'll be coming soon. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you have to do is press the subscribe button below.